CBC's Creator Network has launched a new video that is capturing a lot of attention for rather good reason. It tells the story of a commute that happens every day here in the Lower Mainland. But no people are involved, just crows. Perhaps you've seen the eerie and always incredible flyby of these many birds. We're going to play you the film first, but first we're going to be joined by the, the filmmakers themselves. Jack Bailey is the director and Leron Gertzman is co-producer and co-videographer, I should say. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Jack, to you first of all, what inspired this film? So the idea came like a long time ago when we met actually in first year university. And Leron took me to see the crow roost, which is where 10,000 crows gather. And I was just blown away at that moment because it's also like in a very urban place. Yeah. And so that uh, contrast was really interesting. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that was the germ of the idea. Nice. And, yeah. and, and, and Leron, for you, you've got a, a background in, in biology from UBC. How did that factor into to your interest here? Yeah, well, I think there is a, uh, a knowledge of the behavior um, and just about the birds that really, really is helpful when you want to document something. You need to know what they're up to, where mm -hmm. to find them. Um, and that was a really important aspect of, you know, how to use our time and, and have the most success filming them in limited time. And we know that this took a lot of effort and a lot of time. What is it about crows for you, for, to both of you, that makes, it so, makes them so interesting? I think a couple things. One, the environment that they live in, they share this urban environment with us, so they are the nature that we see when we're in the city. Um, but also their intelligence to me is really remarkable. Um, they're, they're super social, right? They're all gathering together to converse and socialize at the end of every day. Jack, what about you? Uh, yeah, I agree. I also think it was really interesting how they're making this migration at the same time that people were making this migration, like home from work mm -hmm. migration, so to speak. Yeah. And I thought that was really interesting as well. And, and if anybody, and we're going to show this, what, do you, what would you suggest people watch out for in this film? We've all seen crows flying around, but is there anything that stands out to you that people should watch out for? Mm, there's a couple really long zoom out shots that took <laughs> us like six hours to get. So yeah. enjoy I just, those. Yeah, watch out for those. Nice. Yeah. And as, as a co-videographer, what, what was, was there, were there any special challenges that you had to face later on? I think, you know, this was something that we had a vision for. We had it kind of planned out. But the crows don't always play to exactly what you've planned out. You go, you see something one day, and you're like, okay, tomorrow we're going to be there, we're going to film that. You go there the next day, and the crows are in a completely different place. So I think that speaks to a little bit to just how complex and intelligent these birds are. They have a routine, but they take their time to do their own thing, and it's different every single day. And lastly, Jack, to you, for people who perhaps don't have a background in filmmaking, how long did this take to put together? So, well, the actual shooting was eight days, and then it was like maybe three weeks of planning, and then like a month of editing. Thank you, Jack Bailey and Leon, Leron Gertzman. Thank you. Thank you.